And that's a very good question. Now, POS, point of sale, has always been developing. Um, my 25 years in the industry has seen many technology changes. I've seen signature um, Magstripe go to chip and pin, EMV, remote deployment, replace engineer visits, and also TMS capabilities. However, today, the POS industry is changing significantly. And the reason for that is MPOS. Now, the reason MPOS is different is what we're seeing is a convergence of technologies. Now, what I mean by that is we are seeing chip and pin devices, also signature devices, being paired with very powerful mobile devices. Now, what this does is bringing to the market a very feature-rich customer interface, as well as a platform for merchants where they can have bespoke applications developed. So what does this mean for POS moving forwards? Traditional POS, as we call it, will be around for a long time to come. Now, the reason I say that is because there has been a large investment made. So therefore, those products will be out there for a time. However, MPOS, what that's doing is that's changing the face on the, the fringes of POS. So what we'll see is payments going into more of social media, going more online, and really bringing together the digital and bricks and mortar threshold. Again, um, a point of interaction. Well, payments have always been about a point of interaction, POS, um, because we've had chip and pin for quite a while now in a lot of markets, and the interaction point is entering the four-digit pin. Now, with, as my response to the last question, with the integration of MPOS and the more powerful user interfaces, what we're seeing now is that interaction part of the payment process becoming a lot richer. Another excellent question. Profitable MPOS business. The number of times um, I've been asked, how profitable is MPOS? Now, I think stepping back from that question slightly, what we need to see is MPOS is just another way of taking payment. So we shouldn't really see it in isolation. We should really see MPOS as part as entire suite of transaction processing devices. So mobile, wireless, countertop, and MPOS. Now, what MPOS does, however, is provide that platform for additional value-added services. So the way to look at MPOS is the payment is just the transport, and the real key is to use it as a platform to add value-added services. Okay, Spire Payments. Um, we have now been in the MPOS space for almost two years, and we have a significant number of deployments globally, probably in excess of 20, um, and in, in excess of 100,000 MPOS devices. Now, the only way that has been possible is working in partnership with trusted partners. Now, every deployment we, d we make, we have to work with um, gateway providers, we have to work with um, application developers, and what we find is not any one element has the ability to deliver all parts of the solution. So it's absolutely paramount that all the parties work together to deliver a sustainable MPOS solution. Well, that's the longest question I've been asked today. But the answer to that, that, there are many technological advancements in the market today. But one in particular that will bring together MPOS and bring together a seamless shopping experience would be BLE beacons. So this is proximity beacons. So if we take this for an example, it's probably the best way to explain it. Uh, if I would like to buy television. I look online at my favorite store's website. I see a particular television I want to purchase. I then go to the store, and with the mobile app on my phone, the store can tell, because it uses BLE technology and beacons, that my proximity to the store, so therefore it welcomes me, guides me to the television I was looking at online. It can then give me information about the television, because it understands my proximity to it. 
when I decide to purchase the item, um, a retail assistant will come over with an iPad and an MPOS device, and then a, not only taking payment at that point, but also offering to me, or not alternatives, but um, complementary items that maybe other people have bought with that television, like a surround sound system. So really what you're seeing there by using this technology is um, uh, a merging of the digital and the bricks and mortar experience, which really is what is going to drive payments in the future.